work to be done to find the multiplicative inverse of modular 100 not 3 mod of 211. What do I say? I say that we want to find the inverse of this modular. As you remember, to know that the two integers, the two integers has an inverse is when the GCD, when the GCD of A comma B is equal to one. When the GCD is equal to one, then you know that those two integers, positive integers, uh, uh, A and B, they can have the inverse. Why? Because inverse of a number, we have said that if we have inverse of A, inverse of uh, A mod of B, it will give us one, okay? It should give us an, this multiplicative inverse. For additive inverse, for additive inverse, for additive inverse, we have seen that the mod of these two will give us a zero. Okay, for additive. This is for additive. Yes, mm -hmm. this for additive. Well, this is I for guess. additive. Okay, this for additive. And this is for what? This is for multiplicative. This is for multiplicative. Let me keep the sign. Okay, so we are dealing with multiplicative inverse. Why? Every, every topic, every subject, you should raise the question, why am I studying this? Why am I seeing this? Why? Because the modular inverse is going to be used to generate the keys, generate public key, generate private key, in so-called, when you want to encrypt and decrypt the message, you can use a different keys. So, the main purpose of this is to help is to help the let me say the user or the sender and the receiver to generate the appropriate keys which can help the communication to go smoothly without any any interruptive or any interruption of the hacker or crypt analyst okay the crypt analyst there we go we want to find if the GCD of these two integers is equal to one. As you remember, we have the so-called Euclidean algorithm, okay? We have the Euclidean algorithm. This Euclidean algorithm, it is going to help us to find the GCD. There are two ways of finding this Euclidean algorithm, okay? We have a two ways of finding Euclidean algorithm. I'm going to use the second. But for the sake of you understand to understand this, let me start from the first one and I come to the second. I don't want anybody to get lost, okay? For the first one, we know that the GCD, we know that the GCD of what? The GCD of uh, A comma N is equal to what? Is equal to the GCD, we say, is equal to the GCD of what? Of N comma R, it goes on until we find the GCD, until we say that the GCD is going to be equal to R comma zero, and the GCD is equal to R. That's the first one. What do we mean? We know that the GCD of any number comma zero is equal to that integer. So to say, so to say, this is same as to say the GCD of 10 comma zero is equal to 10, okay? Equal to 10. And when we deal with this one, we want to find the remainder. That's the rule which we have applied, okay? This is the rule which we have applied, all right? So now we are going to substitute A and N in our uh, formula as we have there, okay? In the formula, which we have there. Let me substitute the value of A and the N there. If I want to substitute them, I hope you are following keenly and your paper, your books is with you. Let me substitute this by saying 100 not 3. I'm going to find the GCD of these two integers, okay? These two integers. If, if the GCD is equal to one, then we know that this number, this integer, has an inverse to the modular of 200 
and 11, okay? We shall know that one. So the first method, I will be using two methods for the sake of understanding, but for you, if you are going to solve it, you can use only one method, okay? I will use extended Euclidean, okay? I will use extended Euclidean. After this, I will use the simplex method, simplex method, which is also Euclidean method, okay? Now, we, want, we know that in extended, we know that in extended, in extended Euclidean, in extended Euclidean, what do we do? In extended Euclidean, we have so-called the quotient. We have the so we have the so-called R1. We have R2. We have remainder. We have remainder. Okay. We have the remainder. All right. This is to help you to understand how the second method is going to be used. We have the second, which is called what? We have S. One, which is equal to, is equal to one, I will mention down there, is equal to one, no problem, let me mention above here, no problem. We have S2, which is equal to zero. We have T1, no, no, we have S, let me not mention the value, the value, I will mention them down there for the sake of the space, bear, bear, bear it, okay, bear it, you know, by default, this one we have done. Let me try to reduce this one, all right? We have S2, we have a S, we have a T1, we have a T2, we have also T, okay? We have a T, okay? We have a T, all right? This is our end, okay? This is our end. It shall keep expanding according to the values which are going to have. Keep in mind here, we want to find that the GCD of this one is equal to what? When we take S into, into A plus, plus what? T into, uh, T into B, it should give us the GCD of, it should give us, let me write here in a very small letters. When you take S into A plus T into B, this should give us the GCD of A comma B. Okay, so we want to find the value of S and T. And by formula, we have the value of S1, which is equal to 1, S2, which is equal to 0, T1 is equal to 0, T2 is equal to 1. Okay, keep in mind this, we shall substitute them. And we want to find, how do we find S and T? What is the formula do we use to find S and T? What is the formula of finding S and T? S is being found, S is being found. How do you find S and T? S is equal to what? S is equal to S1 minus S2 into Q. T is equal to S T1, T1 minus T2 into Q. Okay, keep this formula, we shall apply them, substitute them in our given below table, all right? So the value of A, the value of A, let me say that the value of A, remember that the value of A, let A be, let A, A is equal to R1. B or N, let me say N is equal to R2, okay? R A is equal to R1, let me say A is equal to R1, and this is equal to say as a 2, 1, 1. So I'm going to take 2, 1, 1. And here I'm going to take 103. Then I'm going to do the division, okay? I'm going to do what? I'm going to do the division of this given number, okay? For those who have your uh, calculators, your machine, your everything, you can do fast, okay? You can do fast and tell me what is going to be the quotient, what's going to be the quotient here, and what is going to be the remainder. What is that? What is that? Can I do, I will do here as I raise, okay? I will take two, one, one. When I divide 103, okay? Which number can I put here? If I put two, I put two, right? If I put two, it will be, six, it will be zero, it will be two. 
it will be 206, okay? This one is going to be 5. The remainder is what? The remainder is 5, okay? The remainder, this is, quotient is a 2, the remainder is 5. Are you following? If you follow, you can thumbs up, as I can see, for those who are, who are with me, who are following. This is very simple, okay? You can thumbs up, as I can notice for those who are with me here, okay? So this is it, all right? So this is it. Now, second, what is the value of S1? S1 value is equal to what? S1, the value of S1 is equal to 1. The value of S2 is equal to 0. S is equal to what? S1 minus S2 into Q. S1 is equal to 1. S1 is equal to 1. This is S. S1 is equal to 1. S1. S1 is equal to 1 minus S2 is equal to 0. Yes, please. Sorry, your uh, table yes, is not please. visible in the camera. My table is not visible. Yes, sir. Are you okay? You mean to say, uh, is it? What about the rest, Jivan, Chandra Sekar? If visible. my table is not visible, you can you can it's leave visible. and join again. You can leave. Yeah, you can leave and join again. Means it's from your technical side. Okay, please leave and join again. Be swajit. Leave if you leave and join again. Then table will, is visible only half. Half. Is it half? Yes, sir. Is it, it is half, half half visible, sir. It is half no, visible. No, it is visible, sir. I think fully, the table is a, is a confirm. Full visible. Yeah, it's a sir. fully visible. Fully visible. Fully visible, yes, my dear. Full, yeah, full visible. Full visible. So we want to find the value of this one. Value value of S. S is equal. S1 is equal to 1. S2 is equal to 0. Means 0. So S1, S is equal to 1. Okay? S is equal to 1. What about? Sorry, you are in mute. Sir, so you are in mute, sir. Sir, your voice is muted, sir. Okay, now, how about now? Now you can hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Yes, yes, thank you. So now, now, as you can see here, as you can see here, uh, the value of T1 is equal to 0, T2 is equal to 1, and, and Q is equal to 2, so 2 here. So the value of T is equal to minus 2. So here is a, here is a 0, here is 1, this is minus 2, okay, minus 2. Now we are going to exchange, okay, we are going to exchange S, R1 is going to be, R is going to be R2. Excuse me, sir. is going to be R1. Yes, please. Yes. Sir, even yes, I used to, sir. Hmm? Hmm? Sorry? Uh, even. You are muted, Kevin. You are muted. S value also should be 2, no, sir? S is equal to S1 no. minus S2 into 2 into Q. Yeah. Yes. What is S2? S2 is 0. S2 is 0, right? 0, zero into... 1 minus 0 is equal to? Which class, man? No, 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 no sir. Zero. Sir, you have written. Uh. S2 is equal to 1, you have written, sir. In table. 0. Thanks. 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 Is equal to 1. Right? Is equal to 1. Correct. Now it's correct, right? Is equal to one. S is equal to one. How? Because the value of S is equal to S one. S one is equal to one minus Q into S two into Q. S two is equal to zero into two. Okay, multiply two. Multiply, multiply two. So this is equal to one minus zero. This is equal to what? One. Correct? Is it correct? Is it correct now? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, good. Sir. Thanks. Okay, good. Now, there we go. Now, let me go fast so you can see. Now, I know, I hope you know. This 
You're in mute again, sir. So someone is muting. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I just want to check it. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to. Someone removed me from the group also, sir. Okay. Even. Even yourself. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So I think now is going to be clear. Okay, don't do the same again, my dear friend. Okay, fine. Okay, good. All right, so I think. Okay. All right, so now. Okay. Thanks. Okay, now there will be no interruption. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, for those who, okay, for those who will. Uh, for those who will hurted by that, I'm sorry for that. All right. So now let's continue and please, please, we have to find we have to find the solution for those who just come and do this. All right. I wish I take care of that one at the end of this one. Now, when we divide 100, not 3, divide by 5, what we put, we put 2, it's going to be 10, it's going to be 0, it's going to be 3, we put 0, okay. We put if we put zero, what's going to happen? It's going to be zero here, and uh, we are going to put six. Okay, it's going to be six, and it's going to be thirty. Is it correct? Or the, the remainder is three. The remainder is the remainder is three, right? The remainder is three. Is it correct? The remainder is it three? Is it correct? Sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. Sir. Yes. The, yes. We put two, and the remainder is three. Okay, the remainder is what? Is three. We have a three. All right, we have a three. All right, next, we are going to take, we are going to solve this one. S1 is going to be zero. S2 is going to be S1. S is going to be S1 here. What is the value of yes. this one? Value of S. Yes. What is the value of S? Two. S value two. is equal to two, right? Is equal to zero minus, what is the value of Q? Q is equal to two into T, uh, T2 is equal to, what is the value of T2? T2 is equal to 1, okay, 1. So it's equal to minus 2, minus 2. And T, what is the value of T? T, T, how do you find the T? T is equal to T1, the value here, T1 is equal to 1, T2 is equal to minus 2. This one is equal to 1, this, equal, this is equal to minus, okay? Yes, uh, yes, please. Sir, Q is 20, sir. Huh? Q, Q is, 20? is 20. Ah. Thanks, thanks. Q is 20, thanks. So here we have to change. You did not tell, okay. You don't tell, okay, very good. So this is equal to minus 20. It's going to be minus 20, right? Minus 20, correct. Yeah, Q is 20. Yeah, minus 20. So this is going to be equal to 1 minus, okay, minus 20 into minus 2. Okay, Q, uh, 2 into Q. So this is going to give us what? 1 minus, okay, this is going to be plus, okay, this is going to be plus, right? Minus, minus. Uh, no, no, this is how 20 only. 20 into this one is going to be minus 40. So minus minus is going to be plus is going to be 41. It's going to be 41. I hope this is correct. Okay. I hope this is correct. You can keep following that one. All right. Now, second line, second, second. Now, uh, Q, R1 is going to be 5. R2 is going to be 3. Okay. If we take 3, 5 by 3, we take one is going to be three. The remainder is equal to two. So here is one, Q is one. The remainder is equal to two. Here, S1 is going to be one. S2 is going to be minus 20. And we're going to find the value of S. Anybody can do fast. What is the value of S? What is the value of S? What is the value of this S? S is equal to 
uh, 1 minus, minus 20 into 1, which is equal to 21, okay? 21. All right? Now, second, second, okay? Now, second, we have which value do we have here? Here we have the value which is called uh, 40, 40, okay? Here we have minus 2, here we have 41. We have minus 2, minus 41 into 1, which is equal to minus, which is minus, minus 43, okay? Minus 43, this is going to be minus 43, correct? Now, we solve this one till we find S is equal to 1. I mean, till R1 is equal to 1, R is equal to 1, till we have the remainder which is equal to 1 or 0. Since it is 2, we keep going, okay? Now we have 3, okay, and 2. What do we put? 3 by 2, we put 1, it's going to be 2, it's going to be 1. So the remainder is 1, here 1. Okay, now we substitute we here, we replace them. Okay, we replace them. Okay, we replace this. We replace this one. So this one is going to be replaced by minus 20, I think is a minus, yeah, minus 20, minus 20 and 21. And we find the value of S. What's the value of S? The value of S is equal to minus 20, minus, minus what? minus uh, 21 into 1, okay? Minus 21 is equal to 1. This is equal to minus 41. Is it correct? Minus 41. Be careful in the mathematics here. Okay, minus 41. So at the end, I will be using this only, okay? At the end, I just want to show you the value of S and T because S and T will be the same as the second method, all right? Minus 41. We keep going here. Now we come to the value of T1. T1 is equal to 41. T2 is equal to minus 43. Now the value of T is equal to what? 40. Uh, the value of, yeah, 41. This one is equal to what? This one is equal to 41 minus, minus what? Minus 43 into one. So this is equal to what? This is one is equal to 41 plus 43, which is equal to 80, eight what? 84, right? 84, if it is correct, we shall see 84, all right? Now the last, what is the GCD of this one? The GCD now, here we have uh, two and one, okay? 2 and 1, we put the quotient 2. This is going to be 0. The minus is equal to 0. When you reach here, it's done because when you add a 1, when you reach here, it's almost done because when the remainder is equal to 1, then you successfully find the GCD, okay? The GCD is found. So here you substitute, here you, re, here you, uh, you exchange. The exchange method is coming by taking uh, 21 minus 41 and we find the value 21 minus, minus 41 into 2, correct, into 2, all right? So it's going to be equal to, uh, this is equal to 8 minus, minus, I mean 21 plus 8, 2, which is equal to what? 100 and, is it 100? 103, okay, 103. This is 103. Okay, 103, correct, 103. Next, T minus 43, 84. Okay, minus 43, okay, minus 84 into two. What is the value for this one? Minus 43, minus what? 168. What is the value for this one? Minus what? Minus? 200, 201. I think the value is correct. Is it correct? Minus 200 and 201. 201? Huh? 211. 211, thanks. 211, 211. So minus 211. Now, 
we come to the last, okay? R1 here. R1 is equal to one. R2 is equal to zero, correct. Now the GCD, now the GCD, we come to this one. The GCD of one comma zero is equal to one, okay? So, so to say that the GCD of these two numbers is equal to one, so which means that we can find the inverse of 101, 100, 103 mod of 211. So we can find it, okay? Now, now if you want to prove this one, what is the value of S1 now, okay? What is the value of S1? The value of S1 is, the value of S1 is what? Let me underline this. If we underline, if we go line by line, then we can understand. So the value of S1 is equal to minus 41. S2 is equal to 103. Okay, we don't need this one. And uh, because S1 is equal to S, or at the end we find that S is equal to S1, T is equal to T1. Okay, so this will be, it will be same. Okay, same here. We, we, we want to take only the value of S and T, okay? So now here, uh, T1 is equal to 84. Yes, 84. T2 is equal to minus 2, not 1. Is it, is it correct? 2, 1, 1. We shall see if it is correct. If you substitute, you tell me if it is correct, okay? You tell me if it is correct, the value of T, T1 and T2. If you substitute in the question, if it gives 1, then you shall know if it is correct, all right? If you shall tell if it is correct. So we are going to use the same method. As you can see, the way they are, the way they are designed here is going to be the same method so that we can find the inverse of this given number, okay? We, can, we have to solve them. This is extended Euclidean. We are not going to do in the form of table. Rather, it's going to be done in the form of calculation, finding the, you know, the value of, R1, okay, we want to find the value of R1, how is it equal to, like that, okay? The substitution, let me keep in mind, keep in mind this, keep in mind these uh, variables which I have here. Let me try to erase here, okay? Let me try to erase here, and uh, I mentioned them here, okay? This is not needed, okay? Here is like to say, two, Right. This one is like to say two not look here. Two hundred and eleven is equal what? Look to the table which we have. Two hundred and eleven is equal to say like a two into hundred and three plus what? Plus five. Correct? Plus five. Okay plus five. Next, what is the next line? Next line is like to say 103. 103 is equal to what? Is equal to 20 into five plus what? Plus three. Okay, we keep going. Now we come. Five. Five is equal to what? Five is equal to one into three plus two, okay? Now, three, the last one, three is equal to what? Three is equal to say like one into two plus one, okay? One into two plus one. This is the value of what? This is the value of our, this is the value, this is the GCD of our, 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 two integers which we have here, two positive integers, all right? So now, when we want to solve this one for the inverse, we follow two things, okay? Number one is reverse and substitute. Two things are going to be done here. Two things are going to be done here. We are going to reverse, reverse from rust, okay? Reverse from rust. I have seen what Prince Kumari has done when he reached here, he thought it's done. No, until you find the value which is equal to one, that's it's the end. Okay, that is the end. Even you can continue to zero, but what you want is one. When you reach where the remainder is equal to one, 
then that's all. You can start from here to reverse, okay? When you reverse, you mean that one is equal to what? One is equal to three minus, okay, one into two, correct? Now, this is the value of one, okay? Now we are going to reverse, second reverse. We want to find, uh, what is the second reverse here? The second reverse, let me come to, um, okay, okay. Yeah, second reverse, second reverse, let me say two. What is the value of two? Second reverse here. Two is equal to five minus one into three. Now, replace, okay, keep in mind, do what? Replace. We are going to replace the value of two. Where? Into here. Okay, you are going to replace. If you get lost, please tell me. Now, one is equal to what? One is equal to three minus one. We replace the value of two. The value of two is equal to what? Let me put this like this one. The value of two is equal to five minus one, okay, parenthesis into three. Okay, now the value of one is equal to what? Three minus one, five, plus minus minus is equal to plus one into three. Are you following here? Because I'm going to come to this side. Is anybody getting lost? We are solving this one, okay? Now, this is like to say, this is like to say, it's a one, okay? It's a one into three, right? So one into three plus one into three, we, 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 they have the same variables or the same, yeah, the same variables. This, we consider this as a coefficient, this as a variable. It's like when you say here is a x, x1 here, x1. This is x2, okay, same. So this is like to say that we have one into three plus this one, one into three plus, no, no, minus, minus one into five. So this is equal to two, three, minus one into five. This is the value of one. Next, we are going to reverse, okay? Which one are going to reverse? Five, reverse, reverse number two. Reverse, this is a reverse number two. Again, reverse. Five, what's the value? No, no, three, let me reverse three. Okay, three, the second one, this one. We are going to, we are come to here. Reverse three is equal to what? Three is equal to 103 minus 20 into five. Correct? 103 minus, okay, 20 into five. Replace. This is the reverse number two. This is was the reverse number one. This is was the replace number one. Now, replace number two. Okay? Replace in where? In the value, this is, this is, this was the value of one. This is was the value of one. This is one is equal to. Okay? Replace here. Let me erase this side. Let me erase this side. Okay? Let me erase this side. Okay? Because I have it there. If, uh, okay, now, replace, one is equal to what? One is equal to two, what is the value of three? Three, 193 minus, let me keep it there, so you can see clearly for those. So here, one is equal to two, the value of one. Okay, two, three, minus one, five, okay? Here, one is equal to two. What is the value of three? The value of three we have, re we have reversed here. 193 minus 20, okay, five. And again, this is, I cross this one, uh, minus one into five. The value of this one is equal to what? To two into 93 minus 80, no, no, 40, sorry, four, because this is going to be, this is going to multiply here, minus 40 into five, minus one, five. What's the value for this one? The value, 293, minus what? Minus 40, uh, 
minus 40 into x into 5 minus 1 into 5. What is the value for this one? The value is? The value is 40? 41. Okay, 41 in x. Correct? Now, I'm coming to the second to the third reverse. First reverse was here. Second was this. Okay, yeah. First reverse, yeah. First reverse was this one. Second was this. This is supposed to be the third. Okay, let me call this a third. Okay, and let me call this the third replace. Okay, replace number three. I hope you are following the sequence. I try to go as much as slow as, as, as much as I can so you can follow, you can get it. Now the value of one is equal to this one. Keep in mind, okay? Now I'm coming to the last stage. As you can see, we have five here and the five has to be replaced, okay? Let me reverse the last one. Reverse number, let me call reverse number four, okay? Reverse number four. Reverse number four. Let me erase this one, yeah. This is done, okay? Reverse number four, reverse number four. What is the reverse number four? Five. Five is equal to what? 211 minus two, okay, into 203. Now I'm going to replace, replace number four. Okay, replace number four. Man, security is not simple, okay? Security is not simple at all, why? because you have to do all this in order to find the inverse of your keys, okay? Now, replace number four. What is the replace number four? What is the value of one? One, remember, is our GCD. One is equal to two, two, no, no, 100, not a three, 100, uh, 100. Since it is lengthy, let me replace it there, okay? Let me keep it here. Replace number four. Keep in mind that one. Okay, I remain, I remain only with this, the last one. Okay, this is done. Okay, so let me remain with the last answer only. Okay, since all you, since I want this only. Okay, five. So now one is equal to what? I'm going to replace that one to the value of 103 minus 41 into 5. 5 is equal to 211 minus what? 2, okay, 103. I close. Now, 1 is equal to 2, 103 minus 41 into what? 211 minus, minus 41 into <coughs> sorry, into, into minus two, okay, into 193, so that you can understand. So you can understand this one. Let me also erase this, no problem. So this is going to be equal to what? Two, not three, minus what? 41, 212, 211, minus 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 going to be plus plus eight two hundred ninety three. Okay, hundred ninety three. Now hundred ninety three. This and that one, we have the same variables here. What is going to happen if it is correct? You will tell me if it is wrong. You will tell me where I have made maybe somewhere wrong calculation. So this is going to be equal to what? This is what is the value for this one? Is the value is equal to 84, 84, 103, okay, 103 minus 4, 1, 2, 1, 1, okay, 103 minus 400, this and that one. So what does it say? It says that if we take this number, 84, okay, multiply, 103, okay? If we take this number, multiply them, minus 400, uh, I mean, I mean minus uh, uh, two, minus 41 mod of this one, it will give us the one. It will give us one. So the inverse number of 103 means you can calculate and see 400, you can divide and see, okay? 84 
into 103 mod of what? Mod of 201. Okay. Mod of 201. Mod of 201. What is going to give? It will give us one. Okay. It will give us one. You can calculate and see if there is a mistake somewhere. You can check. But if there is no mistake, this will be the last. Okay. This will be the last. If somewhere you have made the mistake, you can check. If somewhere there is like a mistake, you can check and let me know if there is a wrong calculation. Okay. If it is not, then you can prove, you can check if this, as you can see, because we needed to find the value. We need to find A into X is equal into X mod of N should give us one. Okay. Where well, this is like to say, this was the same as to say one divide A mod of N mod of N should give us like a, uh, let's say, is it A or it should give us X like that. So we find this value, no, or no, should give us one, yeah. Since there is no divisibility, we have to do the inverse of modular. So if you have, if you calculate and find this one, it will be very helpful so we can share in the group. If there is no question, if there's a doubt you can ask, if there's no doubt, let me check uh, if there is any other answer or if you have made somewhere a mistake, okay, we can correct it. All right. So this is the procedure to substitute, to replace, to reverse and replace. Reverse and what? Reverse and replace. Okay. So this is going to be 84 is the inverse of 103 mod of 201 according to the question which we have here, according to the problem which we have here. So these 84 in the next class, we shall consider it as what? As a secret key, okay? We shall consider it as a, a secret key. So let me check if um, if it was correct, if it's, if the mathematics I used, if it is absolutely correct, maybe the number, maybe the number has changed. So for you, what you're going to do, I gave you two questions, okay? Somewhere I put here four, I think, okay? So for you, you will solve where here is four. Yes, so because to give a different numbers. So you will solve and find, you will solve and find what? You will solve and find the inverse of that given number. I think somewhere we have uh, made a mistake. I think somewhere, I think somewhere, I think somewhere we have uh, made a mistake. Somewhere, somehow, somewhere, somehow, maybe we have made a mistake. Okay, you can uh, you can check. You can repeat the same. You can repeat the same. You can repeat the same for the calculation which we made. Okay, you can repeat the same. Okay, and find if somewhere has been made a mistake. Two not five is correct. Okay, five correct. Five correct. Okay, till here everything is absolutely correct okay in replacing or in reversing you may find where the mistake might come from okay you may try to find where the mistake might come from i think somewhere uh the value okay yeah it's correct it's correct it's correct mm -hmm. i think what did how which value did we give to two the second step okay Fine. So still now everything is absolutely correct. You can check. You may find any answer. If you find this answer, let me mention this one. If you find this answer, which is equal to, um, which might be equal to uh, two no two not seven, two not seven also, you may find as an inverse also. If you find this as an inverse, please let me know because somewhere we may make a mistake and we find this one. But nevertheless, we want to find any inverse, okay? Any inverse from one, from one till 211. Any number which we can multiply by 100, 100 and 103, and we get the remainder which is equal to one. From one till this one, lesser or equal, I mean greater or equal to one, or lesser 
or lesser than 201, means 210, still here, okay? So we can find an inverse. If there is no question, yeah, please, you can, uh, you can leave and you join the next class. If there is a question, I will accept it, I will receive it. If there is no question, then you can go for the next uh, exercise for the remaining time, okay? All right, all right, very good. So if there is no question, then let me say bye. And, but my bye, you know, is very unique. I have to give you here, I have to put here what? I have to put here for, okay? For those who did not do, please solve it. Okay, go solve it. Please send me the three days will be countable. I will count this 104 mod of 211. Find the inverse, modular inverse of this, okay? I think this is what I have mentioned in the group. Yeah, yeah. All right, please do it. Don't uh, take your breath, your lunch without solving this or dinner something without solving this because it's very, very important. So have uh, a good day ahead till another day comes and we meet.